Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to my new video tutorial where we will create a cool particles logo reveal. Step by step we will design a modern logo that's highly popular these days. Let's make your logo shine and leave a lasting impression on your audience. Get ready to elevate your design with this awesome particles logo reveal tutorial. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Let's jump into After Effects and unleash our creative potential. Alright, we're here in After Effects and as you can see I already have this final composition. This is full HD 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second, 5 seconds long. Hit OK and if you want to create it, just hit on this little icon. Alright, uh, as you can see also I have this uh, Softoni logo that will be imported later here in our final composition. For now let's create our background, go right click, find here new solid layer, let's rename this to background, hit OK, go here on the facts and preset and if you can't find it just go window and you will find it here, type here ramp effect like this, drag and drop onto our background layer and here we will make a few adjustments. For the start of the ramp go upper left corner, for the end of the ramp uh, lower right corner like so and let's change our start color to maybe dark blue color like this, hit OK and for the end color let's change to pure black color like so. To prevent this color bending let's add our next effect, go here in the facts and preset and find noise HLS, drag and drop onto our background layer and let's change hue, lightness and saturation to around 2% like this. Ok, and now let's close this effect control for now, hit control plus D on our background layer or go edit and then duplicate. Also let's draw a mask for our first background layer, hit Q on your keyboard or go here and find this ellipse tool, you can also use titles and action safe and draw a mask like this. Ok, go again here in mask 01, for the mask feather type here 500, hit again on our background layer, F3 and then let's change our start color to maybe bright grey color like this. Hit ok and now let's import our logo here in our final scene, I already have mine, of course you will import your own, just drag and drop here in the final scene, I will hit S for scaling maybe to around 60% like this. And now let's create our light here in our scene also, go right click, find here new solid, let's rename light sweep, like this, hit ok, go again here in the facts and preset, find here fill effect, drag and drop onto our light sweep effect, like so, change color to black color, hit ok, go again here in the facts and preset, find here light sweep, drag and drop onto our layer, like so, and for the third effect it's going to be Triton effect, like so. Really important step is to change here our blending modes from normal to screen or add. If you can't find blending modes, just hit here toggle switches and modes. Go here in blending mode, let's try screen, like so. And let's also make a few adjustments for our light sweep. For the edge intensity type here 0, also for the edge thickness, for the width let's try 100, sweep intensity to 10. And for the Y position type here 540, like so. And also type here for the direction 90 degrees. Ok, now let's change our mid tones to maybe this type of blue color here in our final scene. When you're satisfied just hit ok. Alright, our next step is to create our particles here in our scene. I will just close this effects control for now, go right click, find here new solid again, let's rename this to particles, hit ok, go again here in the facts and preset, find here star burst effect, drag and drop onto our particle and here also let's make a few adjustments. For the scatter you can play around, I will type 200 for the speed 0.2, of course you can play around with all options but those are looking good to me, for the grid spacing let's try 7 and for the size let's try 25. And now when we hit 0 in our scene we have this cool beginning of our logo reveal. And our next effect that we're going to import is glow effect, go again here, type glow, drag and drop onto our particles layer and for the glow threshold let's try maybe 17, glow radius to around 30 and glow intensity leave it to maybe 1. 
And now when we hit zero, we have this cool scene of our logo. Okay, now let's add our first effect on our logo. Go here in the facts and preset and find CC scatterize, drag and drop onto our logo. And now let's animate. Go to around two seconds, set up our first keyframe for scatter. Also right twist, you can also animate this left twist, it's according to you. Go to zero frames, set up our uh, for scatter parameter 700 and for the right twist type here too. Now when we hit zero, we have this uh, basic animation. And for this composition size, also let's add another effect. This is gonna be grow bounce, drag and drop here above our scatterize and expand it until our animation is going up all the way beyond our composition limits maybe to around 500 like so you can type also higher number it depends on your logo size or your composition now when we hit zero we have this type of basic animation hit you on our keyboard to show all of our keyframes grab them hit f9 go to graph editor and then draw a curve like this now hit zero this is looking really cool to me. Okay, our next effect that we're going to use is transform effect. Find here transform effect, like so. Drag and drop here above our scatterize for the rotation type here 90. Then duplicate this effect, go edit and then duplicate, like so. Move it below our scatterize effect and type here minus 90. We have done this because of our opposite side animation. And as you can see, our animation now is looking slightly different. Okay, our next effect that we're going to use here is bevel alpha effect. Go here in the facts and preset, find here bevel alpha, drag and drop onto our logo. And basically here we can play around with this shiny edges for the light intensity type here 0.5, like so for the light angle, maybe to go 65. And also let's change edge thickness to around six. And now as you can see, we have this cool edges in our scene. Go here, fit up to 100%, and when we hit zero, our logo is looking really cool and really nice. Also, one last effect that we're going to use here is CC composite, drag and drop onto our Softoni logo, hit U, go here at maybe 15 or 10 frames, set up our first keyframe for opacity, type here zero, then go to around two seconds, and type here 100. Also uncheck this RGB only. And we're using this CC composite effect to bring up our original and untouched logo here in our final scene. And now our logo is looking really cool and really nice. One last step is to bring also our bevel alpha effect under our CC composite effect just to see our shiny edges. Okay, our next step is to duplicate this soft only logo, hit control plus D. And for the lower one, let's find here fill effect, type fill, drag and drop here under our grow bounce effect. And let's change color to maybe cyan blue color. Of course, you will change color to your own color. And when we hit zero, we also have these blue particles here in our scene. But also let's expand our grow bounce to maybe around 1000 pixels like this. And our scene now is looking really cool. Hit zero, and as you can see, our finals is looking great. Okay, now let's create our lens layer here in our finals. Go right click, find here again, solid layer. Let's rename this to lens layer, like so. Hit okay, go here in the facts and preset, find here, fill effect, drag and drop onto our lens flare. Move this layer above all of our layers, like so change colors to maybe black color, hit OK, then find here lens flare. We're doing this black color because of our blending modes. And if we add adjustment layer and add blur later, everything will be blurred out. We don't need that, we just need to blur out our flare. Okay, for the blending modes, let's find here add blending mode, like so. For the lens type, instead of this first option, change to 105 millimeters prime, like here. And our third effect is going to be Gaussian Blur, drag and drop here in our scene. Let's try 50 to blur out our lens flare. Okay, go to around zero frames. And for the flare center, go something like this. Okay, set up our first keyframe and then go to around five seconds and move it all the way to the right side. We can readjust this later. And this is looking really awesome. 
Also next effect that we're going to use is Triton effect, drag and drop here in our scene. And basically you can play around here with the colors. You can leave this color, but for this particular tutorial, I will do maybe this kind of blue color. Play around with the options until you're satisfied with the result. Also, if you want to readjust keyframes, hit U and then hit J or K on your keyboard. Let's type here minus 110 and also hit K on your keyboard to show the second keyframe and also type here minus 110. And now in our finals, when we hit zero, we have this really cool and awesome logo particle animation. Okay. For our final step, let's import our camera here in our scene. Go right click, find here new camera, like so. You can rename it here if you want. You can also change presets, but I will leave it to around 50 millimeters. Hit OK, then go right click, find here null object. Let's rename this to camera control, like so. And you can use here option parent and link or use PickWhip to connect our camera with our camera control option. And now in our finals, let's animate position, hit P for position, go to around 1 second and 10 frames. Before that, hit here on toggle switches and modes to turn on 3D option for everything. And also we can add a little bit of motion blur, make sure to turn it on here and also turn it on here for our layers. Okay, hit P for position for our camera control and also let's set up our first keyframe then go to around 3 seconds and 10 frame and maybe go here to around 250 according to your needs like so then grab all of our keyframes hit F9 go to graph editor I have forgotten to tell you if you can find curve like this just go right click and you will find it here edit speed graph set up our cursor like so and draw a curve like this here in our logo scene and when we hit zero, we have this really cool and really awesome animation of our logo. This is looking great. You can also add more effects here in our scene, like lens flares, light sweeps, light rays, light burst, and so many more. I have shown a cool technique to create this uh, logo animation. You can also add curves. Everything is up to you to play around with this cool logo animation. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon so you can always get a notification when I post a new clip. Take a look on my portfolios, all the links in the description. Write me a comment down below in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.